Republicans dropped controversial abortion bill ahead of Roe v. Wade anniversary. They passed the same bill, Fox News reports, last year, knowing the Senate would kill it. But now the Senate would be exposed as Republican-controlled and would have to vote it down. So the House protected them and didn't pass it. Walter Jones had just voted on it when he was on with us yesterday and thought it would pass. It didn't. He voted, ran in, called us, and he thought it would pass, and it didn't. How incredibly shameful. So they're going to keep killing babies that are eight, nine months old and could live. They haven't told women that there are charities that will pay hundreds of thousands of dollars to carry that baby to term. And the answer is nobody wants minority babies. That's the racist response to the left who started abortion in this country to get rid of minorities. That's not true. No, people want the minority babies. Then they have leftist groups that battle so whites can't adopt black or Hispanic babies. They'd rather have them all dead. In fact, they've got a movie coming out about, you know, a black family not wanting uh, a white guy to adopt um, the granddaughter. Kevin Costner, I saw the trailer for it online. I forget the name of it. I mean, okay, fine, just kill the black babies then. Don't let those devil white people raise them. My God, they might not be raised to hate white people. Sure, just kill them. Kill a black baby. Kill a black baby, to quote Khalid Muhammad, before it is with those white devils. And we kill the white women. And why do we kill the white women? Because the white woman is the military manufacturing center. And every nine months, she lays down on her back and military reinforcements roll out. You know why I can do a black preacher so good? Because you listen to the cadence of how I talk. It's just Southern. That's what a white preacher sounds like too, folks. Southern Baptist. That's really what I sound like. You want to get right down to it. Fire and brimstone. If we don't abort every black baby, the racist whites are going to get them. And then what are we going to do? Man, I enjoy talking. I want to go to a black church. I want to hear some good preaching. Hallelujah. <laughs> hey, I do Marvin the Martian imitations. I do it all. People probably call that racist. It's not. Even though I don't like what Khalid Muhammad used to say, he's dead now, I did enjoy listening to his speeches. It's really hard to not listen to it. Uh, it's it just very, very nice, the way it sounds. Much better than Martin Luther King, who had a great voice as well. I have a dream. We ought to get the Martin Luther King speech and have me read it out. Al Sharpton will probably get upset by it because it says, all men are created equal and shouldn't be judged by what color they are. We are joined by a former prosecutor and former defense attorney and a syndicated radio host, a TV, you name it, Lionel Media. He's just popping in for... Uh, the next 20 minutes or so. Then we'll go to Howard and everybody else, uh, Riley uh, and uh, David and Josh, everybody that's patiently holding Lynn in Tennessee and Larry and others. Uh, we're going to go to Lionel here in a moment to get his take on a whole bunch of issues. Uh, briefly, this is the month of the big discounts. We're giving you roughly half off on PrisonPlanet.tv memberships to see the nightly news. Each membership, 20 people can use, so it comes out to... 12 cents a month per person, $2.50 a month for the monthly membership. $2.50 a month for the membership when you sign up for a year and 20 people can use it. That's 12 cents a day. I mean, come on. That just pays for the bandwidth. Prisonplanet.tv takes a minute to sign up. If you are a member, go ahead and share that membership with friends and family. Expanding on that. Um, we're offering free shipping on top of 10% off all the G2 and ProPure stainless steel systems that annihilate the competition in side-by-side -side comparisons. We have the lowest price anywhere with 10% off promo code WATER. You add free shipping, you cannot beat it. There's only about eight days, nine days left of that. PrisonPlanet.tv, only eight, nine days left of getting a yearly membership and getting basically half off. And finally, you can also go to InfoWarsStore.com where you find the ProPure G2 filters and other great systems like Clearly Filtered Discounted. You can go there and get the entire line of super high quality My Patriot Supply with the highest level discounts. And when you buy the My Patriot Supply products at InfoWarsStore.com, it's drop shipped within 24 hours from their facility. You don't have to wait for your food. It's in great tote containers uh, that people pay a lot of money for. So just for these containers, it lasts more than 25 years. They've got organic lines. They've got stuff for vegans. 
it, it's all there. The full spectrum at the highest level discount, InfoWarsStore.com, or call. And we can answer all your questions as well. Invest in your food security. Get the best price, high-quality food, and support the tip of the spear in the InfoWar. 888-253-3139. 888-253-3139. And we are self-funded. Unlike MSNBC that got billions in stimulus money or NPR that gets 400 plus million a year of your money to spew anti-gun, anti-family, pro-abortion garbage and to deceive people. In fact, I heard it, I listened to NPR this morning and knew it was going to happen. They were on there going, well, even Republicans all but one voted saying climate change is a real threat and causing a problem and that we need to have carbon taxes basically. They didn't say that. They, they had a rider to get the, 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 the pipeline bill moved forward, to get it out of committee, they had to vote. We got Mark Moreno joining us at the bottom of the next hour after we take more calls The Climate Depot. He'll be popping in to break this down. And so Inhofe said, look, the, it's a fraud. It's a hoax amendment. It says is climate change real. Of course it's always changing. So we voted to get the bill going forward because it's true. They wrote it as a scam. Of course climate change happens. It's just not man-made or it's not a big deal. So, But sure enough, they're spinning it. Well, Republicans admit it's all real, deceiving their idiot audiences who love to be deceived. This radio broadcast, this TV transmission, this simulcast is not about staying on our one little reservation, liberal or conservative, and then only looking at information that validates what we're saying. That's what control left and control right do. We're full spectrum analysis going after the real agenda. And carbon taxes is a wealth redistribution system to the elite and to shut down their competition. Let's go to Lionel now of Lionel Media. Uh, he joins us. Uh, Lionel, there's so much to get to today in the limited time we have uh, with you. Uh, LionelMedia.com. But I wanted to get your take as a media analyst on all these propaganda films like Selma, and propaganda films like American Sniper. And now I, I knew Chris Call. I talked to him on and off air. I've debated him. I don't think he was a bad guy. I think he got sucked into something really scary, got told to go along with propaganda, and then got killed to cover it up. I don't know your take on it, but I know that uh, you were happy to come on and talk about it. Then we'll hit a few other issues. If you want to stay with us a little bit in the next hour or two, we'll go to these calls with Howard and others that are holding. Uh, but where do you want to go first, Lionel? Well, a couple of things, too. You know, uh, Alex, the, the notion of propaganda, the term has a pejorative uh, slant to it. It's been around since the 17th century. It was Pope Gregory from the Vatican, propaganda from the verb or the gerund propagation to propagate a particular idea. To put something out is propaganda. Right, exactly. Now, in our country, from the days of Frank Capra and why we fight, to Lenny uh, Riefenstahl, which is, of course, during the Hitler times. This is Triumph of the Will, Bernays and others. Our efforts in battle, in geopolitics, have always been punctuated with uh, the media through the Signal Corps, through Frank Capra, probably the greatest proponent. So propaganda, I want to demystify that. That's number one. Number two, Alex, anybody who wears the uniform for this country. We should owe nothing but respect and admiration for. That being said, there is a meme that is being said constantly that Chris Kyle protects my freedom of speech, that somebody in Fallujah or Kandahar or somebody in the Helmand province, some insurgent is going to march into Cleveland and shut down radio stations, that every effort that the United States government involves itself in, involves protecting my constitutional freedoms. Now, while I respect the military, that meme, that connection is so dangerous in ensuring that the American public rubber stamp every future military activity because the propaganda that's being propounded is that they are there to protect us. And when you start thinking that, when you rubber stamp every single military adventure, every adventure or example of colonialism or imperialism, whatever it is, you're actually ensuring that more Americans will ultimately be killed. Now, what this was, was one of the greatest examples of propaganda ever, American sniper. And by the way, if you're as fascinated as I am, have you ever heard, uh, Alex, the, the history of Carlos Hathcock, the great Marine sniper. 
They're that talking is, about World War II in Korea. Well, this is also Vietnam. Carlos Hathcock gave the notion of the sniper. You know, Michael Moore, and by the way, look, I don't want to play conspiracy, God forbid, but if Michael Moore is not a, a government agent, <laughs> or as we say in professional wrestling, the heel to come in to stir up this pro-military argument, because Michael Moore is 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 the heel. He's that he's the dupe that you always turn to to if the argument is not going your way. Bring in Michael Moore, and he will galvanize people. He will give he will give left cover to it. He will be a foil to say something stupid to legitimize the other side that's getting torn up really bad. Precisely, precisely. Now, look at what happened. Look at the the last time we had a football game, the football, and this this wonderful transmutation of propaganda and the military and the flag 